Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a little bit of a mystery video. So, 2 a.m. Dear Lord, I said I'd go to bed at a normal time. I'm going to bed after this video. But, I was browsing around some really old files of mine, looking at, like, archive.org, at Sinful Android, stuff like that, just reminiscing in some of the old days of TechX and the history of me. So, let me preface this with a little bit of history about myself. In 2016 my original account started to blow up on YouTube. I had the day the account was shut down, and I'll get to why it was shut down in a minute. The day the account was shut down, I hit 3,500 subscribers. And I was going up at nearly 100 a day at that point. And I was making two or three videos a day, and they were getting 10, 20, 30,000 views, and just people barely, uh, basically, barely uh, willing to... <laughs> subscribe for some reason but I was getting a lot of views and the reason I was getting a lot of views is I was doing Pokemon Go content and I was doing the dark side of Pokemon Go I was doing the side of Pogo that persists or basically had access to bots and I would review bots I made my own bot that was a Pokemon inventory tool it wasn't even a bot and it actually still works now I don't know why or how it still works, and you probably will get banned if you use it, but it still works. It shouldn't. That's the thing. But, um, I was doing some browsing around, I found some old files, and I found the old Pokey Farmer. And the interesting thing about Pokey Farmer is it's actually the single thing that got my YouTube account uh, deleted banned off YouTube and deleted my account when I hit 3,500 subs. So I already had one copyright strike against myself by natural motion for releasing uh, bots to Drag Race on uh, CSR for PC. And they didn't like it, so they sent me a cease and desist and copy, uh, copyright striked my channel because I had the CSR logo in the bot, and that technically was a trademark infringement, since I was using it as a negative uh, thing towards them. So, whatever, I deserved that one. <laughs> uh, but the second and third copyright strikes on my channel were from, uh, I think... They were from the, they weren't from the Buddy Forum. They were from the, they were from a company that make, that originally used to make Pokey Farmer. And I don't think it was the Buddy Forum. It was something else. I don't remember, but they actually won a lawsuit against Blizzard for making bots for WoW and stuff like that. They actually won because of a mix-up in Blizzard's own terms of service and all that. They've won like a million dollars, actually, or more. I don't remember exactly how much, but they won a lot. And the original thing was they did eventually lose in court. They did eventually lose, but at first they won. And then things came right back up and got heated, and they lost. So they took all their bots and stuff like that down. But I was just curious, and I was like... Does Pokey Farmer still work? What happens if I run it? So I ran it, and this is. I'm going to show you guys the result. So, as you can see, this version of Pokey Farmer, this does not work. So, I'm going to hit no just for the sake of it. This version does not work. You don't get the maps like you're supposed to just doesn't work. It's a very basic bot where it just says start bot, has what's caught. This is a very old version, 1.0.82.0. If you go settings, you have very basic settings. Nothing entirely interesting as far as Pokey Farmer goes. But if I run it again and I let it update, we go yes. The update starts. Why does the update start? Does it actually download anything? Is there an actual download present for Pokey Farmer? Why is there a download present for Pokey Farmer? 
Why did it update? Why does it work? So there's a change log. And a change log for those that aren't in the software world means basically whatever they changed or updated or fixed. It's basically exactly as it sounds. It's a log of what changed. And the change log is from, this was updated, 2013. Uh, actually, 2017. So change log for Poke Farmer 2017. Build 206 supports latest Pokemon Go update without icons. Fixed minor text uh, issues. Implementation of a session randomization instead of the same static session ID for further to further avoid detection. No patch has been added in this version in regarding UK 27. Don't know what that means. Um, they updated and supported these versions of Pokemon Go. Uh, yeah, so 2017 is the last time this game, this bot supposedly saw an update. Here's what doesn't make sense about that. If you go in and you look, there's an API call for 0.83.2 for version or and the bot version is 1.0.207 so pokemon go api 0.83.2 let's see when that version was done up so here's an update from owned core we can close this so this update was around that same time, 0 0.83.2. And this is just some random like Necromancer bot or something like that, probably. Go Manager, which is very similar actually to the tool that I made. I think this was actually a ripoff of it, but whatever. And I'm going to download this. Server not found, of course. Um, I'll find a different link that works. But so it supports that old API. Why does it work? If you go settings, you do need to get an auth, a, uh, auth key, which I can probably bypass because I believe this can just be straight opened in DNSpy. I think we're going to find out here in a second. I need to close what I had open in DNSpy because I was reverse engineering a, a, a Unity game. I don't think you can straight open this. No, you have to dump it first, so that's okay. Um, I believe patched you can just straight open. Hold on. I meant to try that one and forgot. Nope, that one is also <laughs> literally patched, so you can't open it. Got it. Um, but for some odd reason, you can open this. W why can you open it? What is going on here that I can open this and it runs and kind of works? It's very strange. So if I was somehow able to get an authorization key, what would happen? And the other thing on top of this is it does it does it get some of the stuff from a server list? Or is it actually updated further than it states? Because when did they add Gen 3, for example? So Pokemon Go Gen 3 add. When did they add Gen 3? So Pokemon Go Gen 3 was added 2019. And that gave us, hold on. What generation? Hold on. What? So that's Gen 2. So there is some code, or there is some stuff in this bot that pertains to Gen 3 for some reason. But also, as you can see, at least here in the Pokemon list, it goes as far as Gen 2. But I have seen callouts to Gen 3 stuff in here. So... 
I'm not sure what's going on with this bot and why it seems to kind of work. It's very strange. If you go start bot, it tries to start, but you get an error for buddy authorization. And if you go to that, you just have to log into your buddy account, and they don't seem to have the give you the ability to buy keys for Pokemon Go at all. You can only do Demon Buddy, Exile Buddy, and Reborn Buddy, which I don't know what those are for. But whatever. Um, so it's kind of a mystery as to why this somewhat works. I'm so here's my, you know, quote unquote outro to this video on the mystery. Some of the stuff reads from a server. And maybe there's a private version of the bot that still actually happens to work, or it's just stuff that's like an auto generated API thing that maybe quote unquote they forgot to disable, so that's why it works. But Poke Farmer seems to kind of work. And I don't understand why. And I'm going to attempt to crack it again like I did in the past. But I don't remember how I did it in the past. But I'm going to attempt to crack it again. And we'll go from there. And maybe I'll make an update video. Maybe I won't. If you don't find an update video in the next two weeks, this is a bust of a mystery. If you do find an update in two weeks, maybe watch that video. I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.